What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Charles McBee podcast. Thank you so much for coming through. You already know what to do. All right. Don't treat me like a side chick or a side dude. All right. Tell everybody about me. Like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff, do all the things. I am here with my good friend, Allie Breen. What's going on? Nothing. What's happening with you? You know, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, slow news week. So, I, you know, too bad there's <laughs> nothing going on this week. <laughs> nothing going on. No one's upset. No, no. one's angry. No, no it's just, one's talking about anything. It's just peace in the streets um wild wild week. wild times we live in yeah. uh listen obviously it's, it's it's crazy stuff going on in the world but i look I, i'm not gonna lie i i work at a job where that's all we do is talk about all the wild crazy shit that's going on yeah i kind of just want to <laughs> talk about Focus like on goofy on stuff goofy that's shit. not yeah, that's happening. Ruining people's lives it's not a civil people. war yeah. i don't know um oh my god yeah yeah well, yeah, before we get into goofy stuff, I will say, I guess, on this whole issue, I'm I'm very conflicted because what I see... And we're talking about the Supreme Court, of by course, the way. Of course, the Roe versus Wade Roe versus Wade overturned. And what I see on social media is people acting like no one's ever going to be able to get an abortion again yeah. and that the right's being fully taken away and people are really upset. They're legitimately upset because we're losing a f right that's granted like on the national scale. Yeah. But the breakdown that I've always learned for Supreme Court decisions yeah. is that you basically don't want nine unelected officials to make a law they're not elected there's not an open discussion right, or process right. for what how they make their decisions you want that to be left to the legislature which is the state's decisions so then you have a hundred i mean sorry you have 50 state legislatures with open you know forum discussing it making yeah. laws to you know and they're elected so that should reflect society better than and so basically they've thrown it back to the states where I get that. I get that. I'm not thrilled. I think a woman should have the right to decide everywhere, mm -hmm. but I think that that makes sense as far as how we want decisions made because other decisions you don't want to be left to nine unelected officials. Which is how um, basically Roe versus Wade uh, got implemented in the first place. It was nine guys on the court. So it was just like, it's depending on where it falls, you know, somebody's going to be pissed off yeah. uh, about it. I, I, <laughs> Because I'm qualified as a guy to speak on this. No one has a problem about that, right? Um, yeah, that's the other funny thing is who isn't, isn't allowed yeah. to have an opinion. Is People are heated about it all. Exactly, exactly. Um, I do wish that there could be a more um, empathetic and serious conversation about it in general. Um, whether people agree with this or agree with that or hate this or hate that, that there at least could be a real earnest discussion among the people without hate and vitriol yes. and, and be, having it being politicized and used to gaslit people for, you know, uh, a whole bunch of nefarious reasons. Yeah. Um, if that if even that was a thing, I'd feel a little bit better about where society and the country is headed. But even that's not the thing. That's like you can't even don't even think about it it's either no, there's no discussion to be had it's either you hate women yeah or or like on one side it's like you hate women and you want to kill all babies right well i mean you hate women and you want to save all babies, or you love women and you want to kill all babies. i mean the the arguments are crazy yeah. that's what's a little nuts about it is there's not really a good discussion going on between people of different opinions i'm not gonna lie i, I flew here i flew in from atlanta the other the other day and uh there was this kid kicking the back of my seat and i'm not gonna lie Late, 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 late term. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm for it. Yeah. Uh, are you kidding? There's some like 40 year olds I'd take out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. them. They didn't need to be born in the first place. Take them out now. <laughs> Do it now. Yeah. Do it now. Um, yeah. Wild times. Wild oh, times. Oh God. But we shall, we shall Move see. Move along. We shall see. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So first story. I, I, now, speaking of <laughs> abortions. Yeah. That should have happened. Um, <laughs> Up to 200 teenagers broke into an $8 million Florida mansion to throw a ruckus party and a boxing match, then posted the evidence on social media. See, this is what I mean. That's insane. This is what I mean. And there's two. Where do you find 200? Like, I can imagine a couple people being idiotic and being like, this is a really good idea. But 200 people two, to go along with this. Yo, I didn't have 200 friends. I didn't have 20 friends. Yes. Yeah, I still school. don't. <laughs> where <are> you <laughs> find these like minded. I mean, it is Florida. It, I, and that's the first thing I thought of. I was yeah, like, it's course. it's Florida. So am I am I that surprised? Not really. But still, I mean, it's insane. Florida police are 
hunting for a group of teenagers who broke into an $8 million mansion to throw a, a ruckus party and turn the foyer into a boxing ring. Following a noise complaint in the early hours uh, last Saturday, police from the Walton County Sheriff's Office were called, <laughs> or a Facebook set, a post said, although most of the party goers had fled the scene by the time police arrived, they had posted evidence of the party on social media, which police shared on Facebook. Like, I mean, I feel like sometimes Darwin just has to take his course. Not yeah. everybody's meant to survive. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Well, right. They're implicating themselves. But not only that, who has an $8 million mansion and doesn't have like Nest security cameras set up yeah. inside? You would think that would automatically go to someone's phone and they'd be like, dude, there's a boxing match going on in my phone. You don't have like, <laughs> Call yeah. The cops. Yeah. Why did that not happen? There's I don't no, understand that. That's so true. There's no, you don't have a ring? Like, what's no, going yeah, on? Like, exactly. like, the doorbell should have let you know. <laughs> what are, we, what are you do doing? These people get in. So not, maybe Darwin on both sides. Yo, here. Alexa, like, let a brother know. Yeah. Like, what's good? <laughs> Yo, there's mad people in here fucking your crit up. Like, <laughs> call the cops. Did you mean to have a boxing match happen in your foyer? That's so true. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this got through all the technology. And, and then the kids, they actually could have gotten away with it with no security cameras. And they were the ones that were, like, filming themselves. They were like, how do we make sure that we get caught? If they were, if they were, um, this reminds me of just, like, rappers now, though. Because... Like they're like flexing. This. Oh, they'll flex. It's, yeah, they'll make a song about it. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, we broke into an eight million dollar mansion in Florida, and then we <laughs> fucked up the crib. That's and then what, we, like interrogation rooms should just be rap studios. Ish. That should be. That's the only way people <laughs> admit. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like i didn't do it and then they throw on a beat and they're like oh damn I threw <laughs> you got me <laughs> oh. i tried to try to keep it in the body's buried yeah, in the woods exactly. go 600 yards to the left i shot him three times <laughs> that's so true yeah that just they can't help it what is it with the culture with, with the, these kids today but it is like that like i don't i've done some dumb shit when i was a kid but i also made every concerted effort to not get caught oh god even yeah. if i got caught it was like well i tried yeah now it's like you're videotaping yourselves for clout it's it's this clout generation it's like tiktok too because tiktok has all these like um what are they you know challenges that yeah, are like, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah 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 destroy your school yeah. bathroom yeah. like shoot your principal yeah like, do, it's drink not, cyanide yeah like, it's just like, are like this is great <laughs> that is it's that culture it's completely it's like i remember my friend and i we snuck out yeah. of her house one night and she told her parents she like felt bad about it. Yeah. And I was so mad that she just told her because I'm like, your parents will tell my parents. Right, right. And even that <laughs> You're I'm like, you can't by proxy. Totally, you can't tell your people. They might and now it's the opposite. Yeah. People brag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nuts. <laughs> I also feel like um, you know, it's the uh banning of ass whoopings. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> that uh, I'm seeing a spike in in shit like this when they ban ass whoopings. I feel like kids like fine, if you're against hitting your kids that's cool but they shouldn't know that they can't get hit you're like, right there should be some fear that you might get it it, it, sh it should always like you should at least be able to be like yeah <laughs> <laughs> it should always be on the table yeah like an ass whooping should be on the table it should be in play at all times so i just agree like, you know what because um, also parents, it's not even just the ass whooping. It's like sometimes if you complain about a parent's kids to them, they'll defend their kids. Oh, yeah. Like it's beyond it. It's like you, they're not even punishing them for yeah. about whooping their ass. Oh, there was a time where your neighbors could kick your ass. Yeah. And uh, then you'd have stranger. to wait till your parents got home and then they'd <laughs> kick your ass. And now it's just like your parents will go up to the school and will beat the shit out of the teacher. Yeah. Before they even hear both sides. It's like, no, I, you know your kid's a piece of shit. Yeah. You know your kid's a piece of shit. He taped himself being a piece of shit <laughs> right it's on his instagram it's on the phone that you bought him it's on the news at this point yeah you got it everywhere <laughs> you can't escape it not my child yes your child Look. Yeah. Look. he has a social security number up on his <laughs> screen <laughs> it's me mom <laughs> I did this shit. It's me. <laughs> exactly. No, my kid's a good kid. My kid, not my kid. I don't know. Oh, I, it's it's crazy. Um, the video showed yeah, the ruckus party. They included footage of two boys furiously fighting each other with gloves 
on or with gloves on as the crowd of young people filmed it, cheered and chanted. The images shows the teenagers toying with the owner's property, including wearing several expensive looking rings, playing music and relaxing in recliner chairs. <laughs> That one's pretty minor. That was pretty minor. <laughs> yeah, like, they could have left that one out. Yeah, there's just a like a boxing match going on. There's a boxing match. And also, they were relaxing <laughs> in the cli- recliner chairs. That's like, like some Goldilocks shit. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the, that's what. what okay. they, were, they flicked the lights on, on and I was like, all right. They didn't, as long as they didn't take shit. Well, that's what's funny. There's no way they didn't take. You're not going to try on rings right. and not take them, I would think. Or, Maybe that's where it ends for them because they're like, all right. They're like, that would be super illegal. Yeah, super. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. They're like, we won't film ourselves stealing stuff. Like, I'll we'll break in. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll unlawfully break into your, <laughs> your property and destroy it. But I'm not going to take shit. What am I, an asshole? Yeah, what am I? You think I'm a hooligan? <laughs> <laughs> We should totally bring hooligan back. That's a proper. <laughs> that is a good. That's a great word. That is a great one. My dad still uses it. That's, <laughs> that's etched in my brain. <laughs> Yo, those old school words are proper, man. They're good because they, they sound like they're from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> like. You rascal. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, the Black Water Street home is listed on Zillow. As almost $8 million, the owners were out of town at the time uh, as the party was going on. Not yeah. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's listed for $6 million at most. It's so much. Uh, let's see. It's, uh, apart from the damage caused and the item. Oh, there were items stolen. Oh, okay. And the items stolen, it's a complete violation of someone's home uh, that you can. Oh, someone's quoting this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That is true. If someone just broke in, even if they didn't do all that, well, I would not yeah. want to stay in my home anymore. I would feel pretty freaked out 100%, about that. 100%. So, so I went digging a little more. And apparently there's a little bit of an update. Shocker. You're going to be surprised by this. Okay. But they actually caught some of the kids that were involved. How? In this. <laughs> I don't know. How could they possibly? I don't know. But somehow. That's so funny. Some way they actually caught and some of the And are they actually kids. being punished? Or is it just like I hope a so. slap on the wrist? But it depends. If this is like a rich, richy town where like the dad knows the judge and oh. all that kind of shit. Maybe, you know, you never know. Um, let's see, let's, uh, we can catch They should where. just do it how other people do. Like, you could, I mean, I don't know how expensive it would be to have an Airbnb in yeah. an $8 million place, but yeah. they could practically just rent an Airbnb for a night and do yeah. all this. Just, and yeah. it's way less illegal. They're still going to get in some trouble, but it's not breaking and entering, at, at least. At least, they're, yeah, exactly. But I don't think they, That's that comes with wisdom. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they were thinking this <laughs> yeah, through. That's a good really point. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years from now, they'll be in their 30s or whatever, and they'll be like, Damn. you know what? Before we wreck this person's career, let's just get an Airbnb. And, yeah, let's rent it first and then, and then wreck it. And then we can wreck it. I guess it. that's true. Then you don't have the valuables to steal. There's a lot of stuff. Exactly. Not at play in an Airbnb. Uh, let's see. According to the New York Post, deputies from Florida uh, identified some intruders from the illegal party on June 18th. Um, uh, yeah, Walton County Sheriff's spokesman told the uh, publication that although no names have been released, investigators are working uh, on who stole priceless sports. Oh, sports Ooh, memorabilia. Priceless wow. Memorabilia. Wow. Is that like a Mickey Mantle? Yeah. Card, like oh, real? that's bad. Ooh. Once again, then they put the thing that's not so, and a video game console from the house. Yeah, I mean, it's like you, one's up here and one's <laughs> priorities. Yeah. P- priorities, guys. They're like stole their like precious little dog and also like a coloring <laughs> book. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> like, what, what, are we, what are we talking about? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's bad. So they were they really did do some wild wow. shit. Um, it could take this family weeks to figure out what's missing. Um, it's going to be difficult for them to know exactly what was taken. But yeah, I guess they so they're starting to identify, duh, identify some of the kids that were that were there. Like if they could find these people from the January six, uh, <laughs> like yeah. insurrection, they can find you on Instagram when you've literally taped every face. Right, that's insurrection was how many thousands, thousands of, of people? people, and they're plucking people out like hotcakes. Yeah. Just like you come <laughs> with me. We know what you did. Like you don't think they're gonna find your dumb ass out of two hundred stupid kids? selfies on on instagram god it's crazy too the kids had to know what was going on because here it says someone was watching the house till friday and then yeah. that night it got broken into that's like an inside job that's the other thing if you don't have crazy security system where's the neighbor that you said hey watch my cri- crib and make sure 200 
fucking kids don't break in and, and start a boxing match yeah, that's in like my living room. a whole road full of cars. Yeah. Someone would be like, hey, this family's gone for the weekend. Why are all these people at their house? Or give me a call. Hey, yeah. hey, Charles, Um, there's like <laughs> several dozen cars in your driveway. <laughs> and a full on boxing match going on. Yeah. Did you mean for this to happen? Is this, uh, do you know about this? Uh, hey, some high school kid is wearing your priceless <laughs> rings <laughs> and Louis Vuitton coat. <laughs> Did you lend it to them or is this not right? <laughs> They're tossing your Nana's ashes <laughs> all oh over the f- front lawn. Is that something that you <laughs> meant to happen <laughs> or is this, should we call the cops? Oh, what happened to Neighborhood Watch? What is going on? Jesus. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, uh, you know, they're starting to catch these kids. It's dumb. Um, all of it is dumb. It's a dumb culture that we live in where not only people do people do dumb things, but they want to get, I feel like they want to get caught or they don't care. They don't, they're not thinking. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah. They don't care at that age. That's why when people talk about like getting robbed in New York, if you're getting robbed by an adult, like. Maybe you could resist. You probably would never want it. But if you're getting robbed by a kid, people are like, just hand the money over. Because kids don't realize there's repercussions they, for their that's actions. That's so true. That's they such do a good stupid point. things. And they're just like, they'll kill you and be like, I'm going to be fine. And not think about the fact that they're going to go to jail. Like adults it, have actually had some repercussions yeah. in their life. So they realize to an extent. But yeah, these kids think it's, they're thinking about the party. They have no idea that anything's going to happen to that's them. such a great point. Like they don't think about the, the repercussions uh, the same way like that an adult would. That's yeah. very true. Yeah, definitely. That's very true. I always thought if a kid tried to rob me, I'd just punch it in the throat. But now I'm like, you know what? Those might be the most dangerous motherfuckers. Yeah, well, it depends. If it's just a kid, you can probably punch him in the throat. If it's a kid with like a weapon, yeah, you yeah, probably yeah, want to yeah. hand your shit over. <laughs> just like, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kid, I actually have shit to lose. Uh, <laughs> Can you let me know if you have anything on? <laughs> Clearly, you don't. So I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm just hand you my shit. That's very true. Uh, all right. A <laughs> speaking of somebody who has a lot of shit to lose, a drunk man loses two USB drives with personal info of 460 thousand people. Wow. Like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> what were you? on like why did he have i mean i hope he's working for a company and he's not just like a guy carrying around that kind of information that would be so wild just like no i just randomly (laughs) i just i found a way to hack people's information and i carry it around with me that would be funny similar to the last article where they don't like give like they don't focus on the important shit they're just like this guy lost thousands and thousands of people's info yeah but how did he get it oh well he hacked into a bunch of bank accounts and stole <laughs> yeah. all their oh he's a bitcoin theft yeah. guy but and but, like but, but then he this. lost it <laughs> <laughs> how did he have it <laughs> why did he have it yeah seriously uh let's see a japanese man woke up in the street after always a start to a great story <laughs> woke up the, waking up w- in the street waking yeah. up in the middle of the street always mwah, s- such a great story it's gonna be great from there on it's uh, uh, uphill a uh, Japanese man woke up in in the street after a, bu- bu- a booze fueled bender and realized he had lost two USB flash drives containing the personal information of over four hundred and sixty thousand people. Report said the data included the names, dates of birth, phone numbers, and bank account numbers of the city of I can't say that word Amagas- Amagasaki. That sounds right. In Western Japan, according to Japan Times. After work on here's the story. All right, here we go. All right, what happened? After work on Tuesday, the unnamed employee went out drinking in neighborhood uh, Suta with a bag containing the two USB drives. After several hours of drinking at a bar, he came to early uh, he came to early Wednesday on the street without the bag. Reports claim the employee was employed by a company assisting. The city, the city's rollout of COVID relief funds to tax exempt households. He reported that he had lost the bag and USB drives to police the same day. All right, so wow. like, so his job was to help people. Yeah, <laughs> and he just got drunk and basically ended up giving out. Well, also, I was gonna say, who steals USB drives? I guess they took the whole bag. They just, just took the whole there bag. Stuff in there, yeah. Either or they took the whole bag, or they or he just like left it left somewhere because somewhere he was drunk we don't even know yeah maybe it was one of those 200 like this big put it in your pocket Do if you're gonna go something. out drinking put it in your pocket put it, put it your- around your neck and like a 
couch. <laughs> like, do something, dude. Yeah, because that can't be the first time you drank to the point that you passed the out thing. on the street. There's no way that's not regularly occurring. I was just thinking the same thing. Like, talk about an intervention. Like, this dude <laughs> needs to be sat down. It's like, bro, you had one job. And it sounds like it's a government. Yeah, that's why he probably can't be fired. He's like, I'm just gonna sleep in the street. It'll he, be fine. He had, yeah, he probably has like government job. They probably he probably has like a separate phone, like a government phone, government everything. But like, you don't know to like keep. Why are they even on your person? Yeah, like, keep them at the office or whatever they're supposed right, to be. There's got to be a lockbox to put something like that in there because that stuff's super. I mean. It's just, it's valuable for big companies to have yeah. that kind of information no matter what. But if someone who's like nefarious gets their hand on that kind of thing, oh, like they wild. can hack your, I'm still convinced anyone can hack your stuff regardless if they have that it's stuff. True. I always am expecting I'm, to wake it, up and have nothing in my bank account. I'm, I'm 100% um, just, I've, I've given up on thinking that our, our identification is safe. Like it's not, we give yeah. it away. I'm going to get cut this guy a little bit of slack considering I literally just press agreed on every time. <laughs> Every Same time. thing with managed cookies and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take whatever cookies. They sound delicious. <laughs> I do love cookies. Like, uh, <laughs> like that's so true. I don't. I still don't even know what they are because then sometimes it's like manager cookies. Yeah. But then you go to a whole different screen and I'm like, I just need to read the story. I'm just gonna accept these. They go manage your cookies and then it's like, fine. I probably should manage my cookies and then they take you to the screen and it's a thousand different cookies and it's like I gotta manage each cookie. Yeah. I don't want to manage each cookie. Can I just hit one thing and it manages all the cookies? Yep. That's what everyone does. <laughs> All the cookies are in there. And then once in a while, when your computer stops working, they're like, yeah. oh, you have all these cookies. cookies. <laughs> yeah. Like, geez. Okay. All right. So is it has a it is diabetes. My my computer has diabetes now. <laughs> That's I have so many cookies. Happens. I don't know what the hell is going on. Computer's losing pieces <laughs> left and right. <laughs> Three keys are just dangling off it. Literally, like, one oh, of my yeah. keys don't work. <laughs> That's hilarious. My keys. My key doesn't, my F key doesn't work. Yeah, because it has diabetes. <laughs> That's what happens. This is what happens when your computer has too many cookies. Yep. It gets diabetes. It fall apart. And fucking, and, and its limbs start falling apart. That's very true. All yeah, right. so I guess this guy, I mean, I guess I wouldn't realize, I would probably go out drinking with a bunch of USB I, I, you don't think about how valuable they are probably until they get taken away. Yeah, it's only 240,000 people's lives <laughs> at risk. It's a whole town that's just going to be devastated. <laughs> If you're everybody's nothing. devastated, then no one's devastated. That's true. Everyone's in the same boat. It's in the same. It's all in the same boat. Listen. Uh, fortunately, the city told the newspaper that the data was encrypted and password protected. That's what they all say. I know. And there was no evidence that the data had been leaked. On Friday, the employee uh, and Su Suta police officers located the bag outside of an apartment building with both USB drives still inside. The blunder prompted an apology from city officials uh, and blah, blah, blah. They apologized. Well, that's what happened. It's basically that was probably a bag that had like credit cards, money and USB. Yeah. And they took the money and left everything else like <laughs> everyone like, does. We don't know what this is. USB. Bleh. But at this point, USB could be Bitcoin. And yeah, stuff. Well, could, I guess you still need passwords. So I was going to say I'm surprised they wouldn't take it. Yeah, as much. I, I mean, I, like again, I'm going to cut this guy some slack because every how many times do we turn on the news and it's just like. Target loses 50 million people's identification. It happens something. all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're right. Password and like encryption doesn't matter because one of these LifeLock services, oh, I don't yeah. know if it was LifeLock, but it was like one of these, they'll lock up your identity. Yeah. On one of the commercials, the guy was like, see, this is my social security number and you can't do anything with it. And like five minutes later, he was. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh -huh. That is hilarious. That's actually incredible. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah, you can encrypt as much as you want. There's some little 12 year old hacker that's going to figure it it's out. It's going to figure it out. But yeah. the fact that he actually did that is yeah. amazing. <laughs> and he deserves every bit of what he had coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that whole company. It was like, stop flexing if you can't do the job. Are you sure he wasn't one of the kids that was in the uh, mansion in I Florida? Know, probably. I think it feels like that was like the same. It's that same. Or it's a rival security company. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> We'll put this commercial up <laughs> pretending to be them and show how bad their security is. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, do better, people. Do yeah. better. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> President Biden accidentally flashed. Um, it should just end there. <laughs> <laughs> that President would be great. Biden. They're like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's bound to happen one of these days. When oh, he yeah, falls off coming. a bike, just a ball is going to come out. <laughs> 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 people will be harmed for life. 
Oh, it's coming. Oh, I bet. Uh, President Biden accidentally flashed a cue card telling him exactly where to go and what to do at a White House event. Now, I saw this. Uh, I saw the, the right, you know, Fox News and people like that going crazy with this story. Yeah. And, um, you know, they're obviously they're playing up the whole dementia. This guy, he's losing his marbles, which I'm not not saying that that's not a thing. Right. But they are also using this as a way to kind of make uh, make their point. I will say that reading up on this, um, they do this a lot for, you know, the president or whoever. They go, hey, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. Just little cue cards here, this, that, and the third. My issue is we, the people, aren't supposed to know this. Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to have confidence they just know what yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> make, absolutely. Make me feel like you just know what you're doing. That's where my beef comes in. It's like, bro. Yeah, what are these like trivia cards where there's a front and back? Why is that on the back where we can read it? Like it's like he's playing taboo or yeah, something. Exactly. And he flashed the wrong side. Oh, well, they've my. they've had these issues before because he, you know, has read off the teleprompter, the yeah. part like in parentheses, yeah, 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 which yeah. is not what he's supposed yeah. to do. But this, I understand. Like, I if I ever have something that I have to do that I'm nervous about, I would love for them to literally lay it yeah, out, yeah, like totally. point by point, like that. Like totally. literally, you sit down here, yeah, yeah. and it sounds stupid, but I'd be like, yeah. I don't know, you know, you never know exactly. But now they're gonna have to practice beforehand, just like okay. Also, make sure nobody sees these cards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you're not Put it in a folder <laughs> yeah. of some sort. Something. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that would be for the. Pre well, I guess no other president would want to admit it because someone should come out and be like, no, they do that for us, too. Right. But they're yeah. not going to stick no, their neck gonna, out. They're not going to do it. They have to just throw him under not the a bus. Chance. Throw <laughs> old Biden under the bus. These are the kind of things, though, that just take away from like policy making and all that yeah. kinds of stuff, because people love to focus. It was like the con confefe, yeah, 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 like yeah. whatever mistweet for Trump. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. there's so many real yeah. things you can complain about the presidents about. Right. Why are you picking this minor issue? That's really not a thing. That's so true. I remember when um, the whole confefe gate happened, I remember just being like, this actually makes either liberals or whoever was harping on it, make them look lamer. Petty. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, OK, you put it up once he put up the tweet. Oh, we're going to roast them. Cool. Yeah. They let that thing go for like six months. We can still remember it. Yeah. That was like a major story. It was and it literally is like a butt tweet. I, yeah, mean, was, I don't think he meant anything by it. it and like, so why? Yeah. Did not. He's giving you lots of material. That's exactly. And like real stuff you can complain <laughs> right. about. Like there's real issues that are going on in this confetti. Yeah. They ran with that. It was <laughs> like, bro, like, all right, relax. Oh, uh, yeah. Obama's 10 suit it's a lot of shit oh yeah yeah the things people decide to focus and it's weird what takes like yeah. what really picks up what people really want to go on with it's it's wild yeah it's wild slow slow news days <laughs> uh let's see biden accidentally flashed his cue card for a white house meeting which held simple instructions uh they included you take your seat as well as an instruction to say hello to the guests uh, cue cards are common but right-wing commentators treated this uh as it was a serious gaffe i mean Look, I think it was a gaffe. I don't think yeah. it's like, you know, the country is destroyed by this, but it was definitely an embarrassing <laughs> thing you don't want people to see. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to look like you're a, you know, five year old child exactly. taking instructions, you know, on a play by play basis. Yeah. You want to look like you belong there and you, you know what you're doing. You control the nukes. Yeah. You control the nukes. Oh, how bad would that be if we saw cue cards that were like. <laughs> Oh, my God. Step by step instructions to nuke countries. OK, North Korea is here on the map. <laughs> A little Sesame Street line. <laughs> Make sure you don't nuke Sweden. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Red button bad. It's so funny, though. It's like people are human. Like we really yeah. think that people who are in these jobs just know what they're doing and they're yeah. superhuman. No one knows what they're doing. And these things just remind us. And you don't want the president to not know what he's doing. Yeah, You're right. Yeah, it's yeah. like exactly. Oh, my God. OK. Biden gave remarks in the Roosevelt Room to gathering uh, to a gathering of state governors uh, about a partnership with 11 states to speed up the growth of the offshore wind industry. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> the photographer. <laughs> documenting the event also by the way i was so i was watching the godfather uh so quick note i was at the uh tribeca uh festival oh that's right yeah week, and one of the nights they had they were screening the godfather with al pacino 
and De Niro in the audience. Wow. And I will say I saw Al Pacino on the street one day and that guy has not aged yeah. very well. No. And I was like, whoo. Yeah. But yeah, very yeah. impressive. And so. he's a wild boy. Oh, is he? I mean, he's just like very, an- like he's like a w- very animated, the des- uh, uh, different position of De Niro, just like, just kind of like. Super laid back, yeah, doesn't just want like, to talk. Like, I don't give a fuck about what's going on. And <laughs> Pacino's like a stand up. He was just like <laughs> making jokes and running around. That's amazing. So anyway, so, you know, watching The Godfather, which is one of my, one of the greatest films ever. But in one of the scenes, um, if you have, if you're familiar with the film, they're at the wedding in the beginning. Yes. And uh, Sonny comes out and he sees the photographer taking photos and, you know, and all this kind of shit. Right. Uh, I think they were, might have even been with the FBI or something like that. He grabs the grabs the camera, breaks it on the ground. Right. Because yep. no, and, and then he throws money on the ground. Another guy who's a mob boss, sees a photographer, snaps his fingers, tells this guy to go bring him the camera. The guy snatches the camera out of the guy's hand, gives it to the mob boss. The mob boss takes out the film, throws it on the ground and th- gives him back the camera. OK. I say this to say if. <laughs> If the mob knows to monitor, <laughs> yeah, the, like, the like, perception, the perception, basically from media coverage, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Biden, get in there. Get someone to snatch that camera and throw it on the ground. What are we doing? <laughs> Honest to God, right? That should be what people are most. It's like you're right. Celebrities know when it's happening. So right. Alec, get Alec Baldwin out there to beat the shit out of the guy. Do, do something. something. He'd gladly do that. Something. Uh, President uh, Joe Biden accidentally flashed a cue card because uh, Biden gave remarks. Yeah, the photographer documenting the event captured one of the documents Biden used during the meeting. A cue card titled "The President," titled "The President," with the title of the event and bullet point instructions, seemingly for Biden. Uh, and a photo of the list was out. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. So so here's the list. We're just gonna go through. Them okay. Real quick. Here we go. <laughs> so this is what's on the card. Uh, you enter the Roosevelt Room and say hello to the participants. This is like a Sesame Street. It really is. It's literally like you breathe <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah, and yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, it's telling yeah, yeah. you every step of the way. Uh, you take your seat. Press enters. All right. You give brief comments. This note was particularly uh, blocked. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, press departs. You ask Liz Schuler, president of blah, blah, blah. You thank participants. You depart. It's like. I I get it, but wow! If this yeah. is yeah, if you don't know, those are very basic instructions. If you need to to your point earlier, I I do like it when people would just give me basic instructions, let me know where I'm going to do. But at the same time, given his other job criteria, if you need this level of level yeah, of detail. like hand holding um, it, that's ew. problematic well that's almost like when uh he was doing that easter thing and like the the easter bunny <laughs> came and took him away they're like we don't need any distractions like that we can't we can't take a chance we yeah. gotta let him know yeah 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 it's yeah a, so he might it might really be specific to him i don't know man i i i I don't like jumping on, like, you know, piling on the different bandwagons of just like, oh, he's losing his mind. But, uh. He seems like he might be losing <laughs> he his might mind. Be losing, he losing, might, be, might, be losing his he might not have even had. I mean, I don't even know. When he was in Congress, he didn't have a reputation of being that bright. That's like, true. So it might just be they elected him as head of the party and other people are running the show. We don't yeah. know what's going on there. Oh, definitely, there's other people running the show. Yeah, I, I think feel so like too. there's that with most presidents. Probably. The, except for Trump. Trump, I do think <laughs> Trump came in. Put his dick on the table, his orange, <laughs> bright orange dick on the table, and was like, "I'm running this shit." This now. is how it's gonna be. <laughs> like I'm the captain now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do believe that. But in general, I think that it's always other people running running shit in the when it comes to being the president. I think so too. Or they at least have to check the president. Like the president might make some decisions, but then there's like committees around him that'll yeah. give advice. Yeah, at least. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think in Trump's case, he just took the reins. Oh yeah. And I think in Biden's case, it's the opposite. The other guys are leading him. It's like weekend at Bernie's. It's, yeah. It's it's, it's, uh, it's wild. Yeah. Yeah. There's that old Bill Hicks joke where he uh, he goes, "This is what it what what it's like to be the president." Uh, you get elected, and then on the first day, they bring you into a dark room, and then they show the president uh, a a uh, there's a computer film from the JFK assassination from a different angle. And then they go, 
any questions. That's hilarious. <laughs> and, 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 that, and that's like that's I think that They're is like, exactly got it. it's like got it. Yeah, yep, you're in good. charge. <laughs> got yeah, it. I'll just be set for the rest of my life after this. Yeah. I won't worry about I won't ask too many questions. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I you know, we'll see. Listen, um <laughs> the, the the country's on fire anyway. So nobody he's just like whatever. He's just gonna ride this out. Yeah. Kamala's in the wings just rubbing her hands together like, When's it my turn? That would be a scarier thing to me, I think. I think as little as Biden might know what he's doing, I Kamala hasn't proven to be any smarter or better at it. So she's, I don't know. She's out I, I feel like we haven't seen her. She had, and the stuff she was supposed to do, I feel like she doesn't do and when she gets asked about it, she's just like <laughs> Yeah, it's just like ah! I'm like <laughs> what's going on? Like I don't understand. Like, yeah, it's uh it's all very strange. Yeah, it's an interesting I mean it's always very strange right. and it always feels like it's stranger than the last but yeah. it's always been strange stranger things yeah c- coming to netflix <laughs> again uh al green thank you so much for for coming through yeah thanks for having me that was Is, a lot of fun yeah absolutely uh tell the people you know where they can see you what sure. do you want to promote uh, socials whatever you want absolutely um i'll just do socials for the most part i'm on instagram at ali breen it's a l l i twitter facebook all that stuff and then every wednesday i do a segment on the bob and tom show uh, at uh 9 20 a.m hey. and then i'm around clubs and colleges regularly you can check that on instagram or my website or whatever check it out all yeah. right you know where i be all right at charles mcbee on everything and uh yeah we're just gonna we're gonna hold tight uh i'm gonna hide under the table yeah. uh you're welcome anytime if you want to hide in the oh, bunker i'll join you absolutely yeah, yeah. and we'll just see what happens <laughs> between now and, and and next week Oof. uh all right thanks Allie. yeah thank you charles peace bye